all right fillets of spam in a herb crust for this you will need a spam this is one we shot in the wild and um, we couldn't get the butcher to cut it up so we're gonna have to cut this one up ourselves and uh, we need some sage for this one I've got some dried sage there some English mustard some corn flour and some bread which we're going to turn into breadcrumbs so the drier the better actually so you'll see these the edges are turned up it's rather dry and um, some oil for frying and an egg to help coat the fillets of spam we're going to serve this with um, an English delicacy known as mushy processed peas and because uh, my brother and I are from originally from Nottingham we're going to put some mint sauce into that as well because that's just a Nottingham thing all right so the first thing I want to do is make up the um, crust the herb crust which I'm going to make some breadcrumbs and one of the best ways I know of making breadcrumbs is to get bread and crumb it up I'm just putting those two slices the crust and the in there I'm gonna put a pinch of sage sage goes extremely well with wild spam as does pepper I put plenty of pepper in plenty of pepper pinch of uh, sea salt kosher salt whatever you got something good put that in there and then I'll take that away I'll spare your ears and whiz that up off camera you've got to be extremely careful when you fill it in wild spam because you could cut yourself very easily on the can so what you do is you follow the instructions on the can and you remove the lid like that and one thing I like to do is I get a can opener and just run along the seam at the back as you can see it's struggling a bit that's because it's wild spam you can get domesticated spam but the flavour isn't quite as good so what I'm going to do is struggle with that until it comes out of the can so after employing a lot of harsh language and techniques I learned in the British military um, I've been able to remove the spam from the can the flavour profile of wild spam is much better than domestic spam you know it's much better so what I'm going to do I'm going to fill it this now by dropping the knife through it half in it and then half in those halves again like that and I'll open that up just to do a quick reveal and show you how deliciously meaty wild spam is all right the next thing I need to do is set up my uh, breading station and I'll get that all set up for you and come back to you okay one thing that really improves the flavor of wild spam is um, is English mustard so what, I'm, what I've got here is a pot of English mustard you can use Dijon it works just as well and you spread the mustard onto the fillets of wild spam like that and then you drop it right there into the corn flour and then you can coat the other side like that and then you just make sure each side is dusted in corn flour and then knock off the bits you don't need and then that goes into the egg wash turn that around and then straight into your breadcrumb mix so it's very simple straightforward breading process and then if you get any bits like that that fall off goes back into the egg back into the breadcrumbs like that so you want a nice rich herby crust on each of those wild spam fillets and then that goes straight into the oil so you can see there with consummate skill I've opened the can of um, mushy peas and I've put them into a saucepan and I'm warming them up I'm, I'm warming them up fairly slowly because I don't want them to burn on the bottom so what we do now is we take our 
breaded spam fillets and we drop them into the fat. I'm going to turn that right down because I don't want to cook it too quick and then I'll just carry on egging those up, breading those up and then adding them to the fry pan. Of course uh, we've all heard the horror stories of people using inferior spam and um, cooking them in batter but frankly you know I'm just too posh for that so I'm, I'm going to cook my spam in a herb crust just to make it all the more delicious. Okay as soon as your spam is cooked perfectly on both sides you set that aside now and you can take take the spam fillets out of there and drain them on kitchen paper. As you can see I've set the uh, spam fillets aside, they're draining now on kitchen paper and that ding tells me that my air fryer is uh, finished cooking the chips. So now we're going to turn to the mushy peas make sure they're perfect. Okay mushy peas and some British mint sauce. You need one, a couple of teaspoons of those in there and give it a good old stir and then that's ready to serve wonderful so there you have it fillets of wild american spam with uh, english mushy peas dressed with mint sauce and chips or what some of you might call french fries a great meal If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.